Tuesday morning and um, it's uh, it's misty and gray and uh, it's it's been raining a little bit not not really uh, not really conducive to uh, uh, those who uh, like to see the sun so uh, but that's okay uh, but when this is done it's gonna be green and I'm talking crazy green like like fallow green yellow shade mixed with uh, cad yellow light uh, or cad yellow lemon or something like that. I mean, it's gonna be like electric green. So um, that's gonna be really cool. Looking forward to that. Um, so I've got some uh, got some pretty cool things going on. Um, uh, two, two, two things in general that I wanna tell you about this morning uh, and before I share my thoughts in general about um, as a normal Tuesday drive. Uh, I wanted to update you on the uh, uh, Plain Air Force Veteran Squad. Um, that's the name that we've settled on. And uh, last night, uh, Eric actually sent me uh, the logo. I want to say thank you to um, the folks over at Streamline Publishing for putting that together so quickly so that I can, uh, uh, tonight, um, I hope to um, start building the Facebook page which will be the place where everybody who's involved can connect and we can share stories and uh, stuff like that. So that's gonna be really exciting and I'll, I'll announce that here. So keep an eye out for that. Um, you know, already stories are starting to come in. I mean, uh, there's a gentleman in uh, Anacortes, Washington, up north of Seattle, who, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a, uh, does a lot of workshops with pastels and he's actually putting together uh, a workshop uh, with 12 veterans um, where he's gonna uh, introduce them to pastel painting and he's filling that up so uh, I mean that's that's pretty amazing and um, he's offering his time uh, he could have easily filled that spot uh, with uh, uh, patrons who are willing to pay um, but uh, Instead, he decided to devote that time to reach out to some veterans, and his story is going to be really cool because, you know, he he went through some difficult times himself in uh, in the military and and uh, sort of intentionally tried to walk away from it. Um, but when he saw this opportunity, he just knew that he had to uh, had to be part of it. And um, so, um, Steve, uh, so grateful, man. I'm just touched by the fact that you're willing to. And this is just the beginning, so it's going to be really cool to see uh, see what happens here um, over time. Once we have a place where we can actually uh, we can actually see what's what's happening, um, and then uh, I wanted to uh, let you know that uh, I'm going to need some fuel here in a minute. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to let you know, but the fuel light just came on, so. Uh, I'm gonna stop up here and get some uh, get some gas. But um, the uh, uh, second thing um, that I wanted to announce, and I'll be I'll be sending out a uh, kind of an uh, uh, announcing the uh, live feed. But uh, I'm gonna start some larger studio paintings, and I've got one kind of queued up that I'm gonna do. Um, gonna try and uh, try and hold those. Uh, uh, live feeds to one hour and my intent is to um, uh, live feed that whole that whole painting from start to finish so um, I'm, I think I'm gonna try and do that this week on uh, Thursday and I'm deciding today and then I'll uh, I'll set it up as an event and everybody who subscribes will get a notice um, that it's coming but it's gonna be uh, uh, I think I have a 24 by 30 is the first one uh, that I'm gonna do and I picked out a uh, photograph from Picked out a photograph from when I was in North Carolina of a, of a really cool barn and um, so I'm gonna give that a try and uh, I'm gonna get some gas. I'll be right back All right back in the car and rolling here uh, So um, I think this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a cool experience. Um, 
I thought it was gonna be like super easy and te technically I think it's fine. Um, I don't have any problem uh, with that except for uh, except for sharing the uh, sharing the data with my uh, <laughs> with my teenager uh, who likes to play online games with his friends so um, I'm gonna have to give him a time slot where he's got to drop out so I can make sure I've got all of the <laughs> all of the available bandwidth for uh, for live streaming um, I, I don't think it would be a problem but uh, when I do an upload I tend to crash him so um, so probably should uh, should work that out. But anyway, the uh, um, I'm thinking about uh, nine o'clock, um, uh, like nine to ten p.m. on uh, on Thursday, and uh, keep an eye out for the announcement. And uh, I, I I surprised myself because at first I thought, oh, this is no big deal. You know, I'll just get this uh, set up and get this rolling. And and in reality. I'm a little bit nervous about it, and I don't I don't know why. I think it's just because uh, I lose the ability to edit. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. But <laughs> when, when I edit, I can edit video. You know, I can edit out all my mistakes. I mean, I don't I don't care that you see all of my painting mistakes. That's the that's the point, right? I mean, I want I want to be authentic and real, and I want you to see um, everything on my channel as it is. I'm just talking about the me, not the uh, not the art side of it. I'm talking about the dentist side of it. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we're just going to do it and uh, see how it goes. And if it's a total disaster, we'll we'll for all of you who join in, we'll just all be on that train wreck together. So, um, man, it's a lot of traffic today. I'm usually out here all by myself. So I wanted to say thank you for uh, everyone who who gave me their opinion on uh, which of the two of the 12 paintings um, to not submit um, or to, to not put in that show. There's going to be 10 paintings exhibited. Um, I had 12 pulled aside. Um, it was it was really interesting, you know. I, I uh, some people felt like it was unfair of me to even ask that question for. Uh, for the community here to uh, make that choice, um, but in reality, I was I was just really willing to put it out there because I wanted to hear what your thoughts were, and uh, and it was nice that some of you, you know, actually spoke to uh, actually spoke to what you liked or disliked about certain paintings and which ones were were stronger than others and which ones were your favorites um you know that was valuable feedback and i uh, i really appreciate that and, and um it, it's uh you know i would have never asked a question like that if if i wasn't willing to accept whatever uh <laughs> whatever the results might be and um you know hopefully by now for those of you that have been following me for a while you know that um you know i'm I'm completely open to critique, and and uh, I I have no problem with uh, uh, with uh, any anyone who you know feels like they want to share something that they that they see in my work or if they think it's not strong enough or what. It, it's you know to me you can operate in a bubble and uh, just kind of pretend like like you're doing fine, but it's the trees in the forest thing, right? I mean. Sometimes we're so close to we're so close to it that we just can't see for ourselves what other people see, and that's I think that's the reason why you know why why good quality critiques exist in the first place. I mean, um, you know, I'm I'm a big believer that everybody needs a mentor, and um, you know, I have one in Richard. Um, he speaks truth into my paintings, and I'm willing to accept that truth, and and uh, I grow from it. I could take offense, and and but then I would never go anywhere. So uh, I have no I have no trouble with critique. Um, so if some of you felt like, man, there's no way I can do this, uh, hopefully it wasn't because you didn't feel like I was able to accept your critique because I certainly am. So uh, uh, welcome to the rain. I don't know what this is gonna sound like on video, but uh, I guess it's the reality of the situation. So. 
so there we have it. Okay, so um, the rain has slacked off a little bit, so I think that's gonna be a little bit better for the audio. That got pretty, uh, it got pretty heavy back there, so I can only imagine that it was like being in strong wind. Um, you would struggle to hear me over the uh, over the rain. Um, so um, I, I think I've made it um, made it like really clear that. Um, you know what my intent is here is is um, is uh, this is what I want to do. Um, you know, eventually I want to transition into a, a point where I can. Uh, um, I just want to paint and make videos, and I want to I want to teach people. And uh, I'm so excited about the veterans program getting kicked off because so many lives are going to be touched as a result of that. One of the questions that I have for my YouTube community. Is uh, uh, I've been watching, um, you know, I've been I've been watching a number of artists uh, that I follow kind of make the jump to uh, to Patreon, and um, I'm just curious what your thoughts are, you know, uh, and <clears throat> I, I suppose that they're, you know, everybody's reasons are different. Um, you know, the other day when I mentioned Sarah's channel, I know Sarah does. Uh, does really well on uh, Patreon, which I think a lot of those, um, I think probably most of them, most of them do, and I don't really know what really well means, but it looks like she has a number of people that su support her through uh, Patreon. Um, I, <clears throat> I struggle a little bit with, uh, with um, like, the, the different, the different tiers. I mean, like, what, what can I... Can a person really offer a value for certain tiers, and and uh, how much does all of that, you know, add to the existing workload? And uh, you know, these are all these are all questions that I have in my mind. And uh, so I'm curious. I mean, do do some of you support um, support other artists through Patreon? And uh, um, do you think it's just a terrible idea? And that um, uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just, I, I would love your feedback. I mean, we've, we've grown here to, uh, I'm like, what, like 760, uh, subscribers, which I am, uh, so grateful for every, every last one of you, um, who, uh, who watch and follow along and comment and, uh, and, you know, it's, uh, um, it seems to be that, you know, the, the growth the growth continues, and I, I don't know when the right time is. You know, I asked that question. Uh, you know, when do you when do you do something like that? You know, I've been studying Patreon, and I'm trying to trying to kind of wrap my head around it. And if I did do it, um, I just want to I just want to do it right. And uh, so, um, if you do support someone, whether they're an artist or whether you support someone some other way, um, I would really like to hear what your uh, what your opinion is and um, and so that's uh, because I value it I mean I really I really do I really do value the, uh, the opinions and views that all of you have and um, because I mean that's that's what a community does right I mean and that's uh, that's it's been my intent from day one to, to generate a community here of like-minded people who love plein air painting and who love art and um, who love being creative and and um, and sharing on uh, sharing on you know creative levels and and you know just getting to know each other through digital media which is uh, which is a strange it's a strange thing right but uh, but it's real I mean it's a it's a real thing and and uh, so anyway yeah it's a real thing. So I don't know if and when I'm going to do this. Um, I'm just in the research mode right now, and that's why I want to bring you in and see what your uh, what your thoughts are, and maybe and hopefully some of you have some experience with this, and and you can uh, and you can uh, give me some valuable feedback. So uh, my favorite road is still closed, even though it's bumpy. It's like the best cutoff ever, and uh, so it, I've been going through the town of. Uh, the town of Grand Ledge, um, which is a uh, there's a there's a place here that I've painted a few times, and it's 
it's a really cool spot. But, um, anyway, that's off topic. Um, so, uh, thank you so much um, for uh, following along on Tuesday Drive. Okay, that was crazy. <laughs> um, so the oh, here comes the fire truck too. everywhere <laughs> so the uh, first the first the policeman came um, and I pulled over and man right behind him uh, right behind him the, the two mallards come <laughs> walking across the road and man they just barely um, those they just barely missed each other uh, <laughs> anyway that was crazy right <laughs> Woo. All right, you never know, Tuesday Drive. Keep an eye out for uh, the announcement for the live feed, and hopefully some of you can uh, can join in on that, and, and we can uh, see how that goes. Hopefully that's not a total debacle, and um, I will, uh, I'll catch you later.